Oh, I'm driving angrily to my ex-gay therapy group. Get in my odyssey. I swear we'll use protection. It is cruelty-free. At least in my erection, keep it slow. Increase your follow distance. I got kids in the back. I get them on the weekend. The Honda Odyssey was birthed from the Japanese economic crisis of the early 1990s, which was filled with problems that resulted in a minivan of minimalist design, a compact MPV class that was more popular in Japan in its first generation than it was in North America. It wasn't until Honda built a plant in Lincoln, Alabama, allowing for the manufacture of larger MPV class models that the Odyssey took off in America. This is presumably because we Yanks lack a certain discipline where procreation is concerned. So we needed a minivan for shuttling our kids to ball practice or Easter egg hunts or whatever it is kids do now that requires the involvement of my lawn. Between 1999 and 2004, the larger North American Odyssey was offered in Japan as the La Great, which translates in Latin to he cries, which is likely the reaction to hearing those five little words that will compel an otherwise sane man to purchase this daycare DeLorean of suburban domesticity. Honey, I think I'm pregnant. The Honda Odyssey is essentially Planned Parenthood on wheels, an introduction into suburbia and Facebook ultrasound pictures and engagement announcements in which the subtext is, I've settled! The wedding is in June, save the day! You see, when a man and a woman retire to the bedroom to bump unfortunates, one of the possible results is that you'll end up acquiring this oversized Wegmans wagon, with its generous interior space, its wide cabin, and a fold-away third-row seat for fitting you even more groceries and neighborhood children. The Honda Odyssey is the official car of middle-class malaise and the vast chasm of disappointment between expectations and reality. Because this is what happens when you lock crotches without putting a hat on it. You'll find yourself in a minivan that goes through transmissions faster than Larry King goes through wives. This is the pine box that houses the shriveled corpse of the single life. It's the vehicle driven by the mother hen of the group. You know, that one woman who announces we all came together, and we're all leaving together. Honda Odyssey, sponsored by Easter Egg Photos at Sears Portrait Studios. The Honda Odyssey runs on an inline 4 borrowed from the Accord EX, with VTEC variable valve timing and lift at made about 140 horsepower, which is fairly impressive given its size and layout and the task it was required to do, a haul a minivan around. And that was just in its earliest generations. Most Odysseys of the modern era are powered by a 248 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 six with five trim levels, LX, EX, and EXL, Touring and Touring Elite. The LX, EX, and EXL models came with five-speed automatic transmissions, while the Touring and Touring Elite models were fitted with six speeds for better fuel economy and acceleration. Yet, while this sounds varied enough, Honda has been fielding complaints about its transmissions for ages. It's not just that transmissions simply fail altogether, but that they're really freaking expensive. Expensive. It doesn't matter if you're swapping the transmission yourself. It's either time or money, and this is a problem. Worse, if you're buying used and are relying on Carfax for a detailed repair history, the report might not omit the transmission problems and repairs unless those repairs were done by Honda directly. It got so bad that Honda owners had to protest until the company started offering free transmission repairs, since the third gear would pop out on its own and grind uncontrollably. Hell, they're still not out of the water. Even while I'm recording this, Honda is issuing a recall on 900,000 odysseys from 2005 to 2010 due to a possible fire hazard involving the cover of the fuel strainer at the top of the gas tank. Now, this little strainer can, in certain conditions, crack and lead to a fuel leak. Honda Odyssey, the car that inaugurates the death of your social life, and now possibly your entire life. The Honda Odyssey is John List before he pulled the trigger. The Honda Odyssey, the car for the guy who grew up picking Toad in Mario Kart because no one else would. This Odyssey here is from 2001, which makes it a second generation model, which is a holdover from the first generation, except now it was producing 210 horsepower. The automatic column shifter was moved to the center console, presumably for simplicity's sake. Although it's hard to tell with such 
such a cluttered cockpit, which is covered in more buttons of questionable function than a scientific calculator. But I guess this didn't really bug critics because the second generation Odyssey won Editor's Most Wanted from Edmonds for every year from 1999 to 2003 in every minivan category. I mean, I don't even know what to say to that. Even in its heyday, the Odyssey looked like an airport rental. This is the official car of people who feel bad about going to Walmart, so they bite the bullet, pay a little more, and go to Target, but they completely ignore the mom and pop stores that could have used their business. The purchase of an Odyssey signifies the official point in your life at which blowjobs become something that is strictly for birthdays and even then only begrudgingly. Honda Odyssey, sponsored by pregnancy cravings and the eventual late night trip to the store for apple butter and pretzels from Snyder's of Hanover. So the next time you're thinking of locking crotches with that okay looking barfly from Concha Hawken, just remember this simple mantra. A tug and a snooze, you can't lose. Spill it on the ground and save the kids for a day when you can plan ahead. Maybe save up and afford something else, anything else. A tug and a snooze, you can't lose. That's life, that's what all the people say. Driving a fit in April and an odyssey in May. But I know I'm gonna change that tune On the RCR road trip in June yeah. what, was, what was the first car you bought for yourself that wasn't like mom bought your car uh, or anything? 91 uh, notchback Mustang Ooh. Uh, We had the 100 shot of nitrous Central what? Was 